still can't believe you pulled a gun on Frank. That was epic. It felt awful. I'm glad there was no bullets in there. You can just rewind time in your hand and stick that barrel right up Frank's ass. You have the power! You're gross. Don't fall. I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. Can we build another pirate board and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? I'm still freaked out about what happened. That was awful, Chloe. I'm sorry. But Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, did you see what just happened? I almost shot him. I know I could rewind, but Chloe, this is not playtime. No more guns. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers, he's just a dealer, where I get my weed. The one in your joint, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Is this your bad boy phase? No, it's my trying to scrounge some quick cash so Rachel and I could get the hell out of here phase. Frank had quick cash, that's all. That's it? No, I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? I think we have to be careful and keep an eye on this guy without him eyeballing us, okay? It's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens, and it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? You're not that different. She had... has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at Look night. Look at the bead poet here. I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Definitely use this bad boy. Come on, Max! Oh. Score! Please get me out of here! Now I can pull a total MacGyver. Yes! I 
You saved me again. Crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. Damn. That was close. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? It was cool to spend time in your lair, but I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Explain what? Snow equals a ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? <laughs> You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? What do you know about chaos theory, Miss I Hate Math? Five years ago, asswipe. Some people change. And your situation is the perfect storm for quantum physics. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar. Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. So are you going to that floor? These elite assholes throw a lot of big parties. Another chance for Nathan Prescott to dose somebody. Trevor surveys his domain. So you can almost shoot somebody on Monday and party on Friday? <laughs> Prescott Powers. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. I'm not anti-soiree. You seem anti-fashion, though. A Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Do you even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. If I was normal, I'd be super excited about going to a major shindig. Zachary always looks like he's ready to throw a football. You can really learn a lot about a school by the weird shit posted on the boards. Maybe you owed money to Frank too. I wouldn't want to be at an end of the world party with Nathan Prescott. Too much truth in advertising. It's the invasion of the Vortex Club.
Justin always looks stoned. Carrying a gun to class is cool, though. Max, can we talk? I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? No, it belonged to a friend of mine. Are you gonna bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an asshole. And I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong, but upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you, but it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. What about Kate? I shouldn't have said anything. You know about that video going around. Is that why you hassled Kate yesterday? I took a photo of that moment for surveillance sake. Soldier, you don't have the facts. You think I'm a hypocrite because I want cameras around here for the safety of the students? That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. Luke is always using the phone as a shield to avoid people. That reminds me. Juliet is laying the smack down on Zachary. Speak so you can't help me. I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Sure. You look worried. Is everything okay? Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. You're not the only one. Do you have something you want to tell me? I saw David Madsen harassing Kate yesterday. He was scaring her. Mr. Madsen confuses fear with security. I I'm sorry Kate had to be a target of his paranoia. If you had proof, I could talk to Principal Wells. Oh, yes. I have an actual photograph for once. Let me see that photo after class. You're already thinking like a real photographer. And Max, I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel, too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. It did happen. Nathan Prescott had a gun in the girls' bathroom yesterday. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I hope so, Max. But it's easy to point fingers. If Mr. Madsen claims you might be a pot dealer as he did, should I believe him? Listen, should I...? Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh, hold on. 
I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Stella is smart to stay out of all the drama. Dana, you are out of control. Turn left. That's a great sketch of Dana. Daniel is the real deal. Then right. Show me the love. How do I look, Taylor? You look like ass. Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure she'll report us to the principal. Like I give a flying fuck. Or she'll run to Mr. Jefferson, like he gives a shit. Like anybody does. Max is such a little... Shh, I think she can hear us. Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. Alyssa really lives for her classes. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. Arcadia Bay looks way more majestic here. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. I guess I'm out of time to turn in a photo for the contest. Irony. It's hard to not like Hayden because he just doesn't give a shit. I'm kind of doing something now, Max. 